In a dramatic twist, in Haiti's ongoing battle with gang violence, could the deployment of Kenyan police be the key to restoring peace and stability in the troubled Caribbean nation? Port au Prince, a city besieged by gang violence for months, has witnessed a rare moment of hope. Recently, the combined forces of Kenyan and Asian police successfully recaptured the vital Orite Portiri National Port after a fierce clash with entrenched gangs. This port, a lifeline for United Nations humanitarian aid, had been under gang control since March 2024, blocking essential supplies from reaching the people who desperately need them. As armored personnel carriers rode through the streets, Haitian residents, weary from months of violence and deprivation, cheered and filmed the patrolling Kenyan troops. This enthusiastic reception underscores the public's longing for peace and stability, a stark contrast to the chaos that has engulfed their daily lives. The operation coincides with Asian Prime Minister Gary Corneille's declaration of a 30-day state of emergency in 14 gang-controlled municipalities. This bold move is designed to give the government the necessary tools to combat gang violence and restore order. Haiti will not perish and will not lose this battle, Corneille declared, rallying the nation behind the government's renewed efforts to reclaim control. The humanitarian situation in Haiti is dire. Over half a million of people have been displaced by gang violence, and about half of the population is facing hunger. The health system is on the brink of collapse, with gangs looting and destroying medical facilities and pharmacies, leaving the sick and injured without essential care. The recapture of the APN port is a crucial step in alleviating this crisis, ensuring that food, medical supplies, and other humanitarian aid can once again flow into the country. Kenya is leading the multinational security support mission in Haiti, with a force expected to reach 2,500 personnel. The Kenyan contingent has already demonstrated its effectiveness, not only in the recapture of the APN port, but also in securing the university hospital in Port-au-Prince, another critical facility previously under gang control. These successes highlight the potential of the MSS mission to make significant strides in restoring order and stability in Haiti. Commander Godfrey Otunge of the MSS mission praised the collaborative efforts of the Kenyan and Asian forces. Both Kenyan and Asian agents took up positions at several points in the city as the shooting continued and managed to gain access to the port, which has been a no-go zone since March, he said. The operation, which concluded without casualties, showcased the tactical skill and resilience of the deployed forces. The international community's response to Haiti's plight extends beyond Kenya. Countries from Africa and the Caribbean, including Benin, Jamaica, the Bahamas, Belize, Barbados, Antigua and Barbuda, and others have pledged support to the MSS mission. This broad coalition reflects a global recognition of the need to address the crisis in Haiti and support its journey towards peace. The recapture of the APN port and the declaration of a state of emergency are significant milestones, but the road ahead remains challenging. The well-armed gangs that have taken over much of Port-au-Prince will not easily relinquish control. The Haitian government, supported by international forces, must continue its efforts to dismantle these criminal networks and restore the rule of law. As armored personnel carriers continue to patrol the streets of Port-au-Prince and residents cautiously express their hopes for a better future, one question lingers. Can the combined efforts of Haitian government and international forces led by the determined Kenyan police truly turn the tide against gang violence and pave the way for lasting peace in Haiti? Only time will tell. But the recent victories offer a glimmer of hope in a country that has seen too little for it for far too long. As we delve into the critical developments in Haiti, we invite you to share your insights on the development of Kenyan police to restore peace in the nation. Do you think international intervention can bring lasting stability to Haiti? How effective do you believe the MSS mission will be in eradicating gang violence. Your thoughts and opinions are valuable. Share them in the comments below. And as always, kindly subscribe to the new Africa channel.